just a little bit. Good afternoon, I'm Jeff. I'm with Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 19352 Pease Road here in Oregon City, Oregon. We're located at the front of the home just beyond the front porch area. Or, sorry, embedded within the concrete patio, there is a 3-inch ABS clean-out. That's our access point. I've just inserted the camera. I'm going to zero out right here. Refer to this spot as the point of access. I'm going to check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Here we go. I have transitions here uh, about 14 feet out from 3 inch ABS over to, it's definitely PVC pipe, it's schedule 3034 and it is 4 inch pipe. Okay, and here at 66 feet out, we have reached the main lateral out on Pease Road. We're going to get the line drained out here and let it, so we can take a better look at everything on the way back. Hey, right here, uh, just beyond the, on the camera head, about 32 feet, you can see there's a very large um, buildup here of, it looks like, human waste, or a combination of that and, like, wipes or something. Uh, I'm seeing quite a bit of grease buildup throughout the line as well, but I do recommend a HydroJet to clean the line out. You can see how much of the flow line that's taking up there. Uh, my camera's having to kind of divert around it. So it's a spot where a lot of uh, debris could continue to build up. My other concern, though, is this joint here. It looks like it's become partially separated. Uh, I can still see what looks like the rubber hub uh, be behind the uh, joint there, uh, but it is compromised somewhat. It could allow roots to come through at some point. 
and it's possible that they have already and the debris is covering it up. I don't see obvious strands poking out there, but it's possible that it, there could be some small roots hiding underneath um, some of that grease there on the edge of the pipe. It could be concealing it. It's really hard to say. But I do recommend a rescope after the hydrojet's done. Because it looks like right at the bottom of the screen where the uh, joints separate, there might be a river rock showing through there. <clears throat> so in that case, if it's that compromised, it'll be a clearer picture once it's cleaned. Uh, I would recommend a repair to uh, fix that joint so that it's not uh, going to lead to issues in the future, like roots coming through or allowing a lot of water to escape the line. Uh, currently, <clears throat> it looks like there's just some debris that hung up there, but again, it's possible there's something hiding underneath it. And I would recommend doing a sleeve there rather than a excavation style repair. It does not require any digging at all and it would take care of that uh, very nicely. Uh, this is another spot here I wanted to check out on the way back with the line drained out. We have a, a 90 degree turn here in the pipe just prior to the transition. Um, but when it's all drained out, the water level sits right about halfway up the lens and it's only only for about an inch of the pipe there is it is it over half of an inch most of it's about a quarter to, to half inch of standing water there for only about a foot of pipe but because it's such a short section of the line here and there's not a major amount of debris buildup where there uh, debris look, looking like that big lump of stuff we found at around 32 feet right here it would be a different story I would recommend repairing it but uh, there's very little debris building up right here prior to the belly, which is where you generally see all of your evidence for significant flow problems. So, it looks like just the uh, the joint there at 32 feet is my one concern. On top of that, you can see there's grease buildup throughout the entire sewer line. I do recommend jetting the line to clean it all out, and a rescope to take a second look at that joint at 32 feet. Uh, to see if you can uh, get a clearer picture of what is exposed there behind the joint. As if you can end up seeing dirts and river rock, or dirt and river rocks, uh, it's obviously totally exposed to the ground and needs to be sealed so it doesn't cause problems in the future. Uh, but with, currently, with the uh, if you get the debris taken out of there, the uh, joint is not something that's causing an issue right here at this time, but it's something I'd recommend taking care of in the uh, near future. Um, once it's cleaned out, the line will be functioning uh, properly at that time, but again, that joint could cause that to change, given time for it to get worse. <clears throat>